these tools remind me of the ones we handle in the workshop of the mind where things are made of thought and where we build up character. And so the key word here is, is character. The character of a Moorish American is that you can't say what you want to say. There's consequences for your actions. You know, uh, that's in, in life period. Social media is, is a, it's a wonderful network. It can take you from an ordinary location of the world and take you clear across the universe. But in speaking of the problems that social media can cause, it can cause great divisiveness. It can shatter relationships. It can destroy the whole entire foundation of anything that was made pure and good and well. Here in the Moore Science Temple of America, I said it earlier, language can create, save, and destroy, but social media, that is an instrument that pushes it a thousand times greater. It's, it's totally empowering if empowering to to have freedom of speech if we go according to what the prophet said because all we're going to do is make bridges that we can cross over to deal with other groups as long uh -huh. but when we when we do the negative if we turn and do the negative and we say hateful things hurtful things to other nationalities other groups it draws a wedge and as my father taught me growing up when you burn a bridge you can't go back over it. It's long. So we want to build bridges to other cultures. We want to build bridges to other communities. We don't want to burn bridges. It's long. First and foremost, just because you have freedom of speech doesn't that doesn't mean you have something to talk about. So in 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 American or United States society, you have a lot of people that speak freely, but they have no knowledge of themselves. They have no standards to stand on or to represent. They have no profit or no movement to back them and support what they're saying. So in society, you will have somebody that's free to speak. He can speak against the government, the president, the flag, anything that he might put his mind to, but that's like a madman with a sword. Islam. Islam, before we start, I would like to give praises to Allah and honors to our prophet, Noble Drew Ali, and the forerunner, Marcus Garvey, as well as both of our flags, the Moorish flag and the American flag. And I would like to give a great deal of honors to you, Moors, for showing up to leadership this year. Islam, let's get started. On today's panel, we have Jackson Bay, M. Steady L, Rodney White L, and Damu L. The first question, is there freedom of speech in the Moore Science Temple of America? Your two minutes will start now, Jackson Bay. Islam. Is that freedom of speech in the Moore Science Temple of America? I would say that yes, there's a level of freedom of speech in the Moore Science Temple of America, as long as you stay within the laws and the bounds of the Prophet Noble Jirali. As long uh, the Moore Science Temple of America is not a democracy, it's a theocracy. As long and so we're a religious corporation, and we have our holy and Divine Prophet Noble Jura Ali. We also have our Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, and we have our Divine Constitution and Bylaws, Rules and Regulations that our Prophet gave to us, as long that each member, sheik, sheik is governor, etc., is supposed to abide by. So when you say freedom of speech, yeah, you have freedom of speech to a certain de to degree, but you just can't come and say and do as you will. For example, the Prophet tells us, 
while we are making a public speech that we shouldn't speak against the church or the flag of the United States or any organized group. So are you free to do that? No, you're not. As long as we have some wars and there are some people in the, our society that choose to do that. But that's against the laws that the prophet gave us. As long as so I'm not just free to do whatever I want. And I don't want to be free to do whatever I want inside the prophet's temple. And neither should any member, sheik or sheik, is as long. M. Sadiel, is there freedom of speech in the Morris Science Temple of America? Your, two, your three minutes start right now. Uh, I would say yes, there's a freedom of speech in the Morris Science Temple of America. We'll start by reading what the definition of freedom of speech is. It says, freedom of speech is a principle that supports the freedom of an individual or a community. And we here at the Morris Science Temple of America, we are a community. We're a nation of people, Islam. Islam. And the Prophet Noble Dr. Ali uh, established this movement to, uh, to address the so-called Negro problem. And then the, and the problem that we have uh, with the Negro problem is is freedom of speech, is freedom of expression, the fact that we didn't have a culture. And we are allowed to say um, certain things, but at the same time, like the brother uh, Jackson Bay was saying, we cannot um, uh, be offensive uh, to, to speak radical against any organized group because we are to teach love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Uh -huh. All right. Rodney, White L. Is there freedom of speech in the more Science Temple of America? Islam, praise the Lord to the Prophet. I would say freedom of speech in the more Science Temple of America comes with circumstances. There is, being that it's freedom is one of our divine principles. So yes, however, there's a divine constitution and bylaws in place there are warnings from the prophet in place where he speaks specifically about things that we should be aware of while we're exercising our freedom of speech. Wow. However, in the warnings, like the prophet says, he wants all members to refrain from all radical and agitating speech. So a, a particular individual might have a, a point of view about something. However, it might be radical and agitating and it might put a negative image on the more science simple American, what our purpose is, is uplifting fallen humanity. Mm. So speaking freely about something, it might offend somebody that's not in tune with the prophet's teachings. And like he says, we are not to cause any confusion. He says that in Act 5. Or to overthrow this said government. So we have to be aware of what we say, even though we do have that freedom, we have to be mindful that we repeat what the prophet said. Islam. Wow. Wow. And that's really all the speech we need to have. It's just telling what the prophet said, and that's it. That is our freedom of speech. It's long. It's long. All right. You don't need to question that, Muel. Yes, please. You do. Thank you. Is there freedom of speech in the Morris Science Temple of America? Demuel, your three minutes starts now. I first like to rise and give praise to Allah and honors to his prophet, Noble Jurali. To give you a straight up answer, no. I, I had to look up the definition of the First Amendment of the Constitution. It says Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. Now the key word I'm looking at here is that Congress Congress cannot prohibit speech, but the establishment of a religion, yes, it can be made clear that you cannot say what you want, you can't do what you want, you can't participate in activities that is detrimental to the organization or yourself. So one of the key things that I, I, I had to pay attention to because language can create, save, or destroy. And I had to make sure that I looked at the language and it said Congress. 
if you're a member of the Morris Science System of America, unless you've been voted in as a congressional member, no, you're not Congress. But you are members of the Morris Science Temple of America. That means the prophet does give you something that you can do. And that's think. The prophet said, if I could get you to think, you'd be able to save yourself. So clearly the answer is no. Freedom of speech is not allowed in the Morris Science Temple of America without thinking of what the prophet would do, what your leadership would do. So that's my answer. Thank you. Wow. What is the difference of having freedom of speech in the USA and the Moore Science Temple of America? And I think Damuel kind of touched on that, but if you have something to add to that, Jackson Bay, it'll start with you again. Okay. Your three minutes starts now. Would you like me to repeat that? Yeah, repeat that. What is the difference of having freedom of speech in the USA, the United States of America, and the Moore Science Temple of America. What's the difference between the two? Like I said, Damuel kind of started that. Yeah, yes, he did. Islam and so camelbacking on basically what the brother was saying is 